Hello friends, in this video we are going to solve a numerical which is based on a problem related with a stationary plate and another moving plate in which a fluid flow is occurring. So let's go to the video. Let's see the numerical. A liquid of viscosity 0.9 poise is filled between two horizontal plates 10 mm apart. If upper plate is moving, now this is the problem in which upper plate is moving. Velocity is given to us as 1 meter per second with respect to lower plate which is stationary and pressure difference between two sections 60 meter apart is 60 kilonewton per meter square. This pressure difference is nothing but dab P. But dab P with respect to how much distance? That distance is 60 meter. So dab P by dab X is already given to us in language format. So in our problem, some values are given. Let's note down the given data. It is asked to determine the velocity distribution Secondly, discharge per unit width, how much will be the discharge for 1 meter width? Shear stresses on upper plate. In derivation, we have denoted these shear stresses by tau naught 2. So, it is asked to calculate tau naught 2. So, let us note down the given data. Viscosity is given to us as mu equal to 0 0.9 poise equal to 0 0.09 newton second per meter square. The basic relation is 1 newton second per meter square is equal to 10 poise. Thickness T is given to us as 10 mm so 0 0.01 meter. Upper plate velocity that is capital V is 1 meter per second. No need to change the velocity units. Length between two sections dx equal to L equal to 60 meter and change in pressure that is deba p or dp that is equal to 60 kilonewton per meter square we have to convert it in newton per meter square so it will become 60 into 10 raised to 3 newton per meter square so it is clear that deba p by deba x minus deba p by deba x this value is required in our all the formulae so we will calculate it at the first so that will be equal to 60 into 10 to the power 3 divided by 60 that is 1000 newton per meter square per meter or pascal per meter first we will find velocity distribution Velo velocity distribution will be as to find out Velocity distribution, we are interested in calculation of u as we know the formula for u is v upon t y minus 1 upon 2 mu daba p by daba x into t y minus y square. We know the value of v, value of t, value of mu, value of daba p by daba x and again value of t so by putting all this value we will have a relation of u in terms of y or y square so finding velocity distribution means we have to find how the curve is behaving so for that purpose we will put all the known values so it will be 1 upon 0 0.01 into y minus 1 upon 2 into 0 0.09 into minus 1000 in square bracket 0 
y minus y square. Just multiplying all the things properly, we will have this 100y my plus 555.55 times 0 0.01y minus y square. So 100y plus 55.56y minus y square so u is equal to finally it becomes 155.56 y minus 5555.56 y square so u depends on power second power this second power and first power means it is nothing but a parabolic curve so this is the distribution that we have to find second is Discharge per unit width. This is the value of volume which has been traveled through a cross section in one second when width is 1. So, Q can be calculated by using basic relation that is integral from 0 to thickness P U into dy because we know that the distribution of velocity is not having a particular fixed formula in this case. So we have to consider basic relation. We will consider a strip, a strip. See, this is the relation. So for that purpose, we will consider a strip. We will consider a velocity in that strip and we will integrate it from values from 0 to t y equal to 0 to y equal to t so this integration method basically useful for calculation of irregular terms and hence we are applying these terms we will start with actual integration because now we know the distribution of u with respect to y we are having a equation in ready format so just considering 0 to 0 0.01 thickness is 0 0.01 Relation of u is 155.56y minus 5555.56y square into dy. Now it is easy for us to calculate the integral values of y. y becomes y square upon 2 and y square becomes y cube upon 3. So 155.56 y square upon 2 minus 5555.56 y cube upon 3. The square bracket is having units from 0 to 0 0.01. Having unit 0 has no meaning. So we will just put value of y as 0 0.01 and we will find out the answer. So it will become 5.9. 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 obviously the unit will be in meter cube per second if i want to convert it in simplified one i can say this q can be 5.926 1000 liter equal to 1 meter cube so 10 raised to minus 3 is get absorbed it becomes liters per second so this is the value that is asked in the numerical let's move on to third value that is shear stress at upper plate to calculate tau node we will require a basic relation so at upper plate tau node equal to mu du upon dy here relation of u is known to us so mu into daba of daba y of the value of u can be written in terms of y as 155.56 y minus 5555.56 y square now it is easy for us to calculate derivative of y with respect to y that is 
y derivative becomes constant itself and y square derivative becomes 2 into y so value of mu is 0 0.09 this 155.56 minus this becomes 2 into 5555 becomes 11101.12y after simplification putting value of y as 0 0.01 at upper plate y equal to t equal to 0 0.01 hence we will put this value into the relation we will have tau naught equal to 0.09 in bracket 155.56 minus 111.11 that is equal to finally it will give me answer as 4 newton per meter square so tau naught value can easily calculated as 4 newton per meter square that's all thank you